MailChimp or ConvertKit? Which one is the better email marketing software to help you grow your business in 2022? That's what we're going to take a look at in today's video. So I've extensively used both MailChimp and ConvertKit as well as a handful of other email marketing softwares. And so today we're going to compare MailChimp and ConvertKit and see which one could be better for just in general and for your specific situation. If you want to learn more about anything we talk about in today's video, I'll put a bunch more information down below in the description. So other tutorial videos we have about email marketing, ConvertKit tutorials, MailChimp tutorials, or if you want to sign up for either MailChimp or ConvertKit, just check out the description below. Now let's get into some of the main differences between MailChimp and ConvertKit. The first thing we're going to talk about is ease of use. So which software is it easier to just log in and start doing what you're supposed to do with email marketing software. So creating forms, landing pages, sending emails, segmenting your audience, all those, I just feel like it's much more intuitive, easier to get things up and running with ConvertKit. For MailChimp, I find myself like looking for, looking for something on Google, like, hey, how do you do this? How do you, you know, add a tag to someone who signs up for a form or send an email once someone signs up for the form? Or, you know, for example, adding a tag to someone who clicks on a link within an email, super easy with ConvertKit. You're just creating the link within the email and it says, hey, do you want to add a tag to this? Where with MailChimp, you have to go through the whole customer journey process. So there's a ton more steps to doing something like that. So I would just recommend go through this video with me and then go check out the tutorial for beginners videos for MailChimp and ConvertKit and see which one looks easier to use for you. The second thing I want to talk about is which one makes it easier to grow your email list. So if you're watching this video, I imagine you realize the importance of email marketing and you may not have a very large list, if any, right now. So you want to be able to grow that and have a large audience that you're commuting, that you're communicating through, that you're communicating with through email. I think that's what I was trying to say. And so you want to be able to have landing pages and forms. So landing pages are one page websites that talk about something you're going to give away in exchange for someone's name and email address generally. And forms are things that you will place on your website. So your homepage, um, throughout your blog, and someone is there and sign up and give you their email address as well. So for landing pages, I would say MailChimp has a better kind of creator of landing pages. So you can delete whole sections, add sections, move stuff around. There's a lot more editing that you can do, customizing you can do to landing pages with MailChimp. So that's kind of a plus in the MailChimp camp. On the other hand though, so with uh, even the free plan of ConvertKit, you can have a custom domain. So it could be info.jeffthalen.com and I could have you know, a freebie there. It could be jeffthalen.com slash freebie. So I could create landing pages, use any custom URL with just the free plan. So if you're just getting started landing pages, I think that's really good, but you can't customize them as much. So you have the different templates for landing pages that ConvertKit has. You can change the color, change the font, change the images, change exactly what you're asking for in the form, but that's about it. So you kind of have to pick one you like and just customize the look and feel of it. Then on the other front with forms, I would say that ConvertKit definitely does a better job. So with MailChimp, you kind of create one form and everyone kind of is going to sign up for that same form. Maybe you design it a little bit different differently, but for us, we have a bunch of different things that we give away. So something for Instagram, for personal branding, for YouTube, building a website. And so people may sign up on our website to completely different forms. We want to give them what they signed up for. The thing is in MailChimp, I haven't figured out how to do that. But within ConvertKit, it works the same way as landing pages. You can have an infinite number of forms, infinite number of landing pages. Each one of those could deliver something completely different. So you can have someone reading about websites. Someone signs up, they get our guide to building your website, let's say. Where with MailChimp, you can't really do that. So I would say, you know, when we talk about which one makes it easier to grow your email list, I think ConvertKit has more options as far as forms. Their, their landing pages are pretty good. And I think the credibility it gives of to be able to use your own URL, URL helps. And then on the other hand with MailChimp, you know, the landing page builder is quite a bit better. So for this category, I'm going to say it's a tie between MailChimp and ConvertKit in terms of growing your email list. The third category is email design. So which one is easier or creates better designed emails? So this is kind of a trick question, I guess, and it depends what type of business you have. So if you have a physical product, so if you are a plant company or you sell sneakers or whatever it happens to be, your emails are probably very visual. So here are the 10 new sneakers for spring 2022. So people need to see that. What you're doing is like very visual in your emails. On the other hand, if you have a service, if you sell digital products, it's more of a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So you may be sending emails to thousands of people, but you want it to feel like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with each person. You're gonna start the email off with their name 
and it looks like an email as if I were to open up my Google email and send an email, it's going to look more something like that for that type of business. So that's where there's a big separation in terms of which email marketing software to use. So MailChimp has a ton of different kind of visual design. So if you sell physical products, something e-commerce related, maybe you want to go with MailChimp if you have a services business or you are a creator, you have online courses you probably want to go with ConvertKit in terms of just the look and feel what the emails are going to be. The next thing we're going to talk about is deliverability. So obviously you want people to actually get the emails you're sending. You don't want to end up in the spam folder. And ideally you don't want to end up in the promotions folder either. You want to end up in their primary folder. So for this, not every email marketing software is set up this way, but a lot of people have Gmail. And for Gmail, there's three different categories. You have primary, you have social, and you have promotions. And which one do you think that they actually review more frequently? Well, the primary one that's more important emails end up in the primary section of somebody's inbox. And so if your emails have a bunch of links, if they have a bunch of images, if they have a lot of HTML in it, it's basically just kicked into the promotions folder. So if you want to actually show up in more in for more people in their primary inbox, you know, convert kit, I would say is going to win there because it's set up to have the look and feel of an email that I am sending to you as just sending to one person as opposed to, hey, we're gonna send emails out to a few thousand people. So if you want to show up and have people see your email more frequently, open it more often, I would say that ConvertKit wins in this category. Now let's move on to segmentation. So as your email list grows, you're gonna have your top clients, people that just purchased something from you yesterday. You're gonna have people that are super advanced, someone who's a beginner, someone who doesn't like a particular thing, you're gonna have a bunch of different kind of sub segments within your overall email list. So the thing is, it's important to be able to talk to people differently. Someone who already purchased this course, you're gonna to talk to differently or maybe exclude them from receiving emails that are promoting that course. Or you may have an offer that's just for your best clients or you have kind of an upgrade offer. So if they bought course A, well B is a continuation of that and you wanna to talk to the people that you're trying to convert from A to buy B in a specific minute manner. So it's just really easy to kind of segment your audience based on what they've purchased, what forms or landing pages they signed up on, which links they clicked on or didn't click on, which emails they open. There's just a ton of different ways to segment your audience. And I find it so much easier within ConvertKit versus MailChimp. So when we talked about earlier, the forms and things like that, I haven't found a way to use MailChimp forms to easily segment into, hey, where do they sign up? Can we deliver them a freebie and add a tag? to uh, that particular person. So I just think the segmentation for whatever you wanna do within ConvertKit is just super, super easy. And not only can you add tags, but you can also create segments. So if someone is has tag A, B, or C, that is one particular segment. So for us running both our English and our Spanish emails from the same email marketing account. So anyone who signs up for anything in Spanish, obviously they get a, they're part of the Spanish segment. Anyone who signs up for anything in English is part of the English segment. So it's very easy to create kind of groups and, and kind of smaller subgroups and, and group them together in what's called a segment. So for me, you know, hands down as far as segmentation, just really, really easy to convert it. And then as I try to create tutorials for MailChimp, it's like, how do I do this? This just isn't very easy to do. Now let's talk about automation. So automations are the most powerful tool in terms of email marketing. So none of the email marketing softwares, MailChimp or ConvertKit, are going to include automations in a free plan. Generally, they'll let you send one free automated email. So someone signs up on a landing page, send them an email saying, thanks for signing up or deliver a freebie. But in terms of sending a series of three, five, 10, 50 emails all within a sequence, you need to upgrade to a paid plan. Both MailChimp and ConvertKit have the ability to send an automated sequence of emails and to kind of be able to kind of segment someone say, hey, if someone clicks on email three, do this. If someone doesn't click on it, do this. If someone makes a purchase, stop sending emails. But the thing is with the automation, again, I just find in terms of ease of use, setting up what you want to create to be able to say, hey, if someone makes this purchase or this tag is added, then don't send them the following emails. It's just for me, much easier to set up again with ConvertKit. So this is something I would say you could probably do similar amounts of things in terms of automation with both MailChimp and ConvertKit, but I would give the slight edge here again to ConvertKit. Now let's talk about ConvertKit and MailChimp's free plan. So both do have free plans, not just free trials. You could have a free plan for MailChimp or ConvertKit forever and never have to upgrade. But there are obviously things that they're going to take away from the free plan that are available for their paid plan. So the automated email sequences, 
are just for paid plans for any email marketing software. You can send the one kind of response email when someone signs up, but you're not able to send a sequence of emails. There are some differences between MailChimp and ConvertKit's free plans, although they're fairly minor. So with MailChimp, you can have up to 2,000 subscribers and with ConvertKit, only 1,000 subscribers. So you can have twice as many subscribers with MailChimp as you can with ConvertKit. The one thing is here, you probably won't hit this limit, but with MailChimp, there is a limit in how many emails you can send, which is 10,000. So essentially, if you had the whole 2,000 subscribers, you could send them five emails per month with the free plan. With ConvertKit, there's no limit on basically anything except for the number of subscribers. So you could send as many emails, have as many landing pages, forms, all of that is essentially unlimited. With ConvertKit, where you do have limits in terms of the number of emails you can send with MailChimp. One thing that ConvertKit has that MailChimp does not are custom URLs for the free plan. So if you want to create landing pages that look something like this, so jeffthalen.com, info.jeffthalen.com, jeffthalen.com slash uh, YouTube guide, whatever it happens to be, you can create that with a free plan with ConvertKit. With MailChimp, you're going to have a URL that looks something like this. This isn't the end of the world, but it does add some credibility having your own domain for your landing pages. So like I said, there's not huge differences in terms of the free plans between ConvertKit and MailChimp. MailChimp, you can have twice as many subscribers. You can have a custom URL with ConvertKit. There may be some other small differences, but the nice thing is here, you can get started for free. Now let's talk about some of the differences between the paid plans of MailChimp and ConvertKit. So maybe start out with a free plan with either of these softwares. But the thing is, if you're really gonna put effort into email marketing, you're gonna want the automations. It's such a powerful tool and can help you sell so much more for your business. So regardless, if you hit the limit in terms of the number of subscribers, having the automations is so important. So I think you're gonna to wanna to upgrade with either of these in a short amount of time if you're really serious about email marketing. So let's check out some of the differences between some of the plans. Both MailChimp and ConvertKit are gonna charge you based on two factors. One, the pricing tier. So the higher the tier, the more features available and the more you're gonna pay. And then the size of your email list. So as your list grows, you're gonna pay more for your email marketing software. Why don't we hop in the computer and figure out how much you might be paying. Here we are at the pricing page for MailChimp. You can see they have four different plans, including the free plan. In general, I also recommend the standard plan. Most businesses do not need the premium plan. And there are always gonna be a few things stripped out of the essentials plan. So a couple of things that I noticed with the essentials in terms of not being able to have a custom URL and some of the functionality for automations is also stripped out here. If we scroll down a little bit further, I'm not gonna go through all of the benefits with each one. You can check that out on your own if you're trying to decide between plans. But if you scroll down here, you can see how the pricing works. So you can see at up to 500 contacts, you would be spending uh, $15 a month with the standard plan. If you drop down to the essentials plan for 500, you'd be paying 9.99. And so as you go up, so I think for the standard plan, I think the next tier is 2,500. So we jump up there, you're gonna see it's gonna be $52. The essential plan at 2,500 contacts is 31 bucks. So this is ConvertKit's pricing page, which you can see here, it's fairly similar. There's three different plans, including the free plan. In general, you're probably not gonna need Creator Pro. We're currently using the normal Creator plan. The thing you'll notice here is that instead of starting out at three at 500 subscribers, it starts out at 300 here, and it's the same price of $15 a month for the standard plan. One of the nice things here, if you go to yearly though, normally you get two months free, but the yearly for the, the very bottom at having 300 subscribers, you're only paying nine bucks a month or $108 for the entire year staying under 300 subscribers. The next tiers are at 1,000 subscribers, it's gonna bump up to 25 bucks a month if you're paying for the entire year. Again, you're gonna notice it's 29 bucks monthly. The next, I think there's another, there's 3,000 here. This is the one that the comparison I wanna show you. So for 3,000 contacts, monthly you're paying 49. If you go to yearly, you're paying 41. If we hop over to MailChimp to compare at that level, so you see again, 2,500, so 500 contacts less. With the essentials, you're paying 31, it's a bit cheaper here. But if you go to their standard plan for 2,500 contacts, you're paying $52 here versus ConvertKit, you're paying 41 if you pay for the year, and you're paying 49 if you're paying monthly and getting you know, 500 additional contacts. The main point I wanna make here is between the standard plan from MailChimp and the creator plan from ConvertKit, they're fairly similar in terms of price. 
with the same number of subscribers. Sure, you may be paying a few dollars less with ConvertKit, and if you're paying annually, you get a further discount, but it's more or less the same ballpark. The important thing for me is to think through all the points I made earlier on in the video to check out some of the tutorials if you haven't done so yet for both MailChimp and ConvertKit. I think there's three for both of them. I'll put those down below in the description. Also sign up for both. Create a free account with ConvertKit and with MailChimp. Test it out for a little bit and see which one you like more. In terms of when you decide to upgrade later on, you're gonna be paying more or less the same. So after going through this, which email marketing software are you gonna check out? Are you gonna create free accounts with both MailChimp and ConvertKit or is there a clear winner? If you wanna see our ConvertKit tutorial for beginners, check out the video right here. If you wanna check out our MailChimp tutorial for beginners, check out the video below. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye.